Good morning guys, it is Saturday the 18th, the start of the rally at 8 a.m. Uh, we're driving to 4th Street on San Rafael, rocking our Vehicle Virgins t-shirts. Exciting, looking at my dad wearing one. Oh man, it's gonna be pretty cool seeing all these cars lined up and apparently there are like 10,000 people about to watch us leave. And I made an Instagram post saying uh, if you guys are local you should come out so it would be really exciting to see some fans out there today. Good morning. official starting line of the great race and right in front of me is the number one car 1916 Hudson that won the grand champion uh, last year and actually won yesterday with a time of just four seconds off the pace absolutely incredible considering we got a minute so check out these stickers here all these stickers that say ace mean that they crossed checkpoints and at the exact amount of time so within one second zero seconds less than 0.5 of the posted time that is nuts Behind me is a 1927 Bugatti. It is actually a remake made by a company called uh, Persang, but it is really, really well done. Uh, and it's driven by a team that is on the show called The List. It's a, a thousand and one car things to do before you die. They've got an awesome film crew. Might connect with them. Let me take you around the car. It's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> Check out these mechanical drum brakes with cables. <laughs> Team Japan rocking a right hand drive Nissan Figaro. Never seen one of these before. Little car show on the side here. Got a California TM4 IA. Another couple cars in there. But the star of the show is the old cars. We're in position in line uh, at the start of the great race. We start at 1049 and it is 1025 right now. We do two speedo calibrations, although our speedo is like pretty much exact. And then we got some transit time, and then this thing starts. What do you? <laughs> and uh, my grandparents came out. They're right over here, and they got iPhones, so they're using iPhones. They <laughs> they can't use technology at all. So this is funny. Heading up to the starting line, you can hear an announcer yelling three, two, one. So at least we got a, a more accurate start than last time, where we had to guess whether we are supposed to do a rolling or a standing start. Looks good, sounds good. You guys Thank have you. a great time. Team Ehrenstein, John Ehrenstein out of Tiburon, California. Current Patra Parker in Ehrenstein. The white and blue 65 Shelby GT350 rookies. They're ready, they're psyched. They're heading out all the way to Moline, Illinois. Let's send them. Three, two, one. Coming into Vacaville after our uh, first time leg. I think it went really well actually. We've learned a lot and probably got within uh, four seconds or so. But look, we got a warm welcome. All right, it looks like we're about to get our score. 65 Ford Chevy GT350. <laughs> Going. Any time delays? Nope. Okay. All right. Minor emergency instruction. You might encounter the word north on this sign, but no big deal. Okay. Um, major emergency instruction here. We're delaying the restart by 30 minutes. Oh. So on okay. um, change 69, column C to 145 to calculate your restart time. Perfect. Okay. Thank All you right. very much. Number 131. 
Driver, Nick Riel from Jamestown, New York. Way cool. We're at the start of the next leg. Uh, about to start in nine minutes. We're taking off at 2.34. There was a 30 minute delay because of traffic, but now we're right on time. Uh, we actually didn't get uh, stuck in the traffic too bad, so uh, we're doing perfect. But everyone's taking off a little bit late, and we've got a series of what looks like pretty difficult uh, uh, roads to deal with. So check this out. So we start uh, at 115, but then there was a 30 minute delay, plus we're car number 49, so we leave 49 seconds after that, uh, which is 234. Uh, we pass the narrow road sign at uh, 50 miles an hour. Then we do that until we pass the stop sign ahead, go 40. Then we've got to stop, go to the right. Uh, you wait at the stop sign and you look 40 miles an hour to 40 over here on this chart. 40, 40, you stop for 10.6 seconds, not 15, uh, and then we come to uh, road 29, going 40, so on and so forth. So, it's a bit challenging, but it's a lot more fun than, uh, than I would have thought. At first, I was a little bit worried that it was gonna be really stressful uh, because you're pretty much just staring at a, at a stopwatch the whole time. Uh, my dad's staring at, at the speedo the whole time worrying about going the exact pace but we're gonna do the best we can stopped at a rest stop we've got about seven minutes till we start up again race has been going good so far but this is uh, a different uh, we've never gone through this before having a transit time and then having to start again so hopefully I click this at the right time otherwise we're gonna be uh, totally off our time beautiful Sacramento River rally's going good gotta stop up ahead one of the best parts of this rally has honestly been the scenery. This, some of this stuff is ridiculous. I really wish I could film reviews here. Look how beautiful these mountain ranges are with whatever type of trees those are. I have no freaking idea. But perfectly smooth roads, incredible views. And now uh, I probably have to pay attention again uh, so I can give directions. We're at the final step for the day. We're going 40, 40 miles an hour until we see the speed limit 35 on the right, which is right up there. And then we are done for the day. Even though there appears keep going at 40. I don't, I don't understand. What the fuck? We just arrived in Old Town, Sacramento, which is our stopping place for the night. The camera's shaking like crazy because we're on cobblestones. The nuts thing is, Old Town, Sacramento is only about an hour and a half from uh, our home. Uh, where I grew up, but it took us eight and a half hours to get here because, okay, one second, this is an old car on airbags, and look how low that is, holy shit. Anyways, because of the route that the rally took us, going through farms, rice fields, walnut trees, basically service roads for all these big farms, it took us eight hours to get here. But there is a ton of people welcoming us. We're gonna find out our time really soon. Oh, I can actually see um, the finish line up there. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, I believe we're parking the cars uh, to put them on display for all the people in the town. And I'll catch up with you in a bit. Pulling up to the finish line. Thank you. Going good. 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 We made it. I think you're probably winning the Marin County class. You think? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 there were a bunch of failures. <laughs> Just showed up at the finish line in Sacramento. Did pretty good. The first leg was an hour and 52 minutes and we were only off by one second. That's pretty ridiculous. And then the second leg, uh, we were off by eight seconds, then one second again, and then 22 and 12 for the final. So with the multiplication factor uh, for our car being a 65, we ended up 42 seconds off uh, for the entire day, which me and my dad are pretty proud of. Like always, please browse our channel and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you next video.